Good afternoon everybody, this is Nate over at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota and today we have another Flagstaff product here for you. It is a 2024 Flagstaff Classic 281RK. We're going to take a walk around the inside, we'll get on the inside here and let me know what you think in the comments down below. So like I mentioned it is a fifth wheel here, you can see that Flagstaff Classic logo right up top. But let's get into it. So first you'll have your bright LED lights on the outside here. Storage for the inside, I was trying to trigger that auto light here for us. So you'll have a little bit of storage down here. You're going to have your battery box right here and battery is installed at the time of purchase. You have an option for your solar on the side. Docking lights here. Moving on over, so I'm going to take a couple of steps back here. You're going to notice right on the top you do have slide toppers right up top here to protect that slide from any goo or gunk getting in there. Take another step back here so we can see everything in its entirety. Very nice product we got today. Moving forward, we've got our propane, gray water tank, sewer outlet connections here. You may see right at the bottom and then if the GoPro can pick it up, which I believe it can, we do have our enclosed underbelly here. We got a large pass-through storage here. And then the Flagstaffs do come with these griddles, these attachments. Power cords can fit down here. And then you can see right off to the side back here, you do have a little bar that's going to hold uh, some more items so you don't clutter your storage underneath here. But we got a lot of room to work with, even if you want to store a bike. You can do that down here. And then of course we do have our electronic leveling. Moving on down. We're gonna have our city water connection here. We do have some outlets off to the right. We have our furnace. We have another LED light. Coming around to the back. 50 amp service. Outdoor shower. Up above on the top there you do have your prep for your Furion backup camera. Ladder to get up top for your fully walkable roof. They do have a hitch on the back of this unit as well, so if you want to do a bike rack, you can do that. And then we'll look from the other side here. You have a large power awning. We just washed this unit here, so I don't have that out right now, but um, in your um, LED white light strip underneath that as well. Moving forward. We got our LP disconnect here. Some GFCI outlets here. Before we get on the inside here, we got our low point drain down below. We got our water heater, and again, that uh, motion light just triggered here down here as well. So if you are trying to find something in the night, that light will trigger for you so you're not stumbling in the dark. And then I didn't open this one, but this should be our other propane. There we go. And that is filled upon purchase as well. So let's get on the inside. We're gonna go over some of the features there. Let me know your thoughts and questions in the comments down below. But before we get on the inside here, I've done a, a little bit of the Flagstaff videos now, and I always like to hover over these because these are on the door. I put them in every one of my videos, just so you know what kind of product you are getting. Everything is numbered here um, on this uh, sheet that they put on the, like I mentioned, on the door of every Flagstaff. So feel free to pause the video here so you know exactly what you're getting. It's a lot of useful information. 200 watt solar panel. A lot of neat things. All right, let's head on to the inside. Fire extinguisher there. So I like to think of this as a perfect 
couple's fifth wheel. I mean, you got a lot of counter space, a lot of room to work with. It's not too large of a fifth wheel, but uh, you're gonna see some unique features here. It's not a, a plain Jane, plain color camper. It's got a nice home feeling to it. So I'll turn the camera around. We'll get this done. Let me know what you think. So first off, you're gonna have these chairs and then you're gonna have a lot of counter space to work with here. And right up above that, you're gonna have your large smart TV right here. Let's see if I can close this with one hand, which we can. Three burner cooktop here. Again, when that's closed, you have a large amount of space here to work with if you like cooking or doing anything like that. GFCI outlets down below. Let's look at some of the storage. Storage for silverware, anything you might need there. And one thing I want to make note of, if it just does it there, these are easy closed doors here. Nothing's going to slam it. I'll fight you at first here, but it's just so they can't be slammed. You can see when I try to close it faster, it kind of stops a little bit there, which I really like. Keeps everything in nice shape. Here's our oven. Any pizzas you might want to cook. We do have our microwave right at eye level. Plenty of storage up above that microwave. Storage off to the right of the microwave. And then before I get into the rest of the storage, I like going over these. I call this the tower of power because you can charge multiple different devices and you do have a wireless charger up top. You do have a lot of windows in this uh, kitchen here as well and behind me in the living room, which I'll touch on in a second, to let a lot of that natural light in. And in these flagstaffs, you will have your solar information, interior features here, which I've covered before in the past, but um, definitely feel free to pause the video here to get a little bit more information. All right, moving on. Large stainless steel sink. Above the sink, we'll look at some of the storage. These cupboards go all the way through. Lots to work with. Cups, glasses, plates, anything you want to put in here. And then beneath the sink, we got a lot to work with here. And then it does come with a garbage can. All right, I'm gonna take a step back. We do have our fridge, freezer, storage up above that. Let's take a look. We got a large freezer here. and a large fridge. And then you're gonna have all the information on this unit. That always comes with all these campers. Nice and tucked away. So living quarters here or entertainment area. You do have your Millsburg collection seating with your wireless charger here. Storage for the remotes, anything else in here. And you do have the dual shades if I could do this with one hand. You can see I got one and I got two here as well and that goes throughout. So if you are watching a movie with family or friends, you can definitely create that dark theater type setting, which I really enjoy. There's those chairs again and moving on over, you're going to see a little bit more for our storage here. So if you want to use this as the pantry, there's that auto light again, which I really enjoy. So even if, uh, you know, since this is a smaller fifth wheel, if you were walking in and you wanted to put your shoes down here, you can do that. But you got a lot of room to work with down below. I'm just opening these ones up up top. Lots of room to work with. Close that up. And then you'll see here another tower of power. So if you wanted to use your coffee pot or if you wanted to have your coffee pot up here, you can do that. No shortage of outlets on this device here. And you'll notice if I just press this, if I can do it with one hand, there we go. You can just pop down seamlessly into the countertop and you can just pull it on up. 
You do have more storage down below. And then more storage up above your coffee pot area. So let's take a look at the bathroom. Let's take a look at the bedroom, but since it's right above my head, you do have your AC up above. Heading on up the stairs. Off to my left here, you're gonna have your control panel here. Everything that you're gonna need, and this does have a motion sensor light in it as well, so when you're finished for the night, you can easily, if it's dark in here, this will illuminate for you, so you can pull back your awning, your slides, whatever it might be. And you're gonna have your thermostat, solar controller right here. You are gonna have some more light switches right here. Coming into the bathroom, first thing, porcelain toilet. Towel holder here, right up above the toilet. You do have a deep storage pocket down below, or up, I'm sorry, up above for towels, washcloths, whatever it might be. You do have a large shower. And again, I'm standing in it right now. I mean, I'm 6'1", I got no issues at all. Here's our medicine cabinet, more storage here. There's me. There's our sink. Storage down below the sink. Let's head on into the bedroom. So you'll have exit windows here, and I kind of already have this stage because it's a little bit harder to do with just uh, one handle. I'm holding the GoPro here. But first thing I wanted to mention is you do have plenty of storage underneath the bed. You know, for clothes, blankets, pillows, whatever it might be. And that can just fold it down. So we'll see our bed off to the left in the corner here. You do have charging outlets there, charging outlets here. And you do have your windows to let some of that light in. AC in the bedroom as well. Here's our, our smart TV for the bedroom. Going over storage in here. Storage here. Storage here. And then we're gonna have a lot. I, I was in this unit earlier and I liked the uh, amount of storage in the bedroom for clothes. So you'll see that there. And these storage, these these uh, these drawers, these storage areas here have so much depth to them. You can really put a lot in here. And you'll see this is just that large closet here. And we do have that for our mirror, as you can see me there. And you do have storage underneath. I'm going to do a little, or I'm going to do a smaller pan of the bedroom here, so we can get another another look here. Again, standing right behind me is all that storage. I'm going to do another slow walk through. Here's that bathroom. Love that new camper smell. And standing from on top of the stairs here. I'm kind of at an angle, but you can kind of see everything right from the get-go. So if you don't want anything too big, I think this is the perfect fifth wheel. All the information and specs are going to be on the screen um, at the beginning of the video here. But that's going to do it for this video on this uh, new Flagstaff. One thing I wanted to mention is Bullion RV is actually hosting its uh, show come February 9th through February 17th. Prices are going to be the best that they are, uh, that they're going to be year round. So definitely come in, take advantage of that. Like I said, February 9th through the 17th, there's going to be uh, lots of fun. We're going to have a total, I think, of 65, 75, maybe up to 80 units between the show floor and the shop. There's going to be uh, free food, free parking, all the fun in the world. Camp more in 2024 is what we're going for. So no rhyme intended at that last part, but I just wanted to let everyone watching know, again, I'm gonna mention it for the third time, February 9th through the 
19th. Come see me, come see everything that we got in the shop, in the show floor. If you wanna see this unit, let me know. Um, again, let me know what you think of this unit in the comments down below. Make sure you subscribe, smash that like button. Again, this is Nate over at Bullion RV. All my contact information is in the description box below, but my direct line is 218-740-4965. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you in that next one.